and welcome back to part 36 of Let's Play Discworld. If you recall, we were exploring and learning that former uh, sewer pro sewerage processing equipment is now being used to process custard. That's disturbing to say the least. At least for me. That's just... Yikes. Okay. But for now, we're pretty much done exploring around here. We've talked to everybody here. Now we need to find some more people that might tell us things about being a hero. Let's see. Let's... You know what? Since we're here, go to the alley. The guy that was making movie. The guy that invented the whole movie making process. Why not? Let's talk to him. Ah, they're gonna show us the assassin training track. You know, not a very wise idea. Oh. They brought the letter back and looks like they tied it down. Okay. That's kind of interesting, I think. And we walk around the bottom. Let's look around and see what... Let's see what this guy has to say. That sounds like he's making popcorn. Hey, look at that. Let's look around. What's in here then? Looks like cooking oil. It still looks like cooking oil, but it sounds... Looks like a little home for a very little creature. Yeah, you remember that from Act 1, don't you? His that idea for a, a camera. Hot. Someone should do something about that. Indoor plumbing. Now, whoever said Ank more pork lacked all the mod cons? So not much has changed f with the area. What's that okay. noise? <laughs> Sorry. That noise! What's that noise? I can't hear you. Wait a minute until I turn off the noise. Yeah. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm banging brains. It's for the clickies. Uh, we need novelty food for people to eat while watching the shows. Banged grain? Great name. Yes, I thought it up myself. Not a yeah, I can tell. Does it always make that awful noise? It's a civil disturbance, that is. Don't you need a license for doing that? Well, I asked if you needed a permit to bang grain, and they've given me one of these instead. This is a permit for soliciting street girls. <laughs> But is that better than exploded corn kernels with butter? You don't get out much, do you? Apparently he doesn't. So popcorn is called bang grain here. Have you ever thought of... Okay. What? Well, the advantages of heading back into more traditional lines of work. Base metals into gold, that sort of thing. No, no future in it. I turn one base metal into another one, and then another... And then, into gold. And ten minutes later, it all reverts to the original metal again. Back to first base. Yes. Ugh. That's the one. You want to get your process cheaper. This stuff's too expensive. Well, I bought the grain special from the grocers. Why don't you go down the livery stable? You'd pay a third the price. Yeah, yeah that's an idea. Now you watch the shop for a moment, and, and I'll be back. Hmm. So he leaves us alone with his camera. You never know when a camera will come in handy, do you? Let's just grab it. Apparently he doesn't need it anymore. I could watch that for hours. But he did shut off the popcorn, or bang What's grains. What's in here, then? Looks like cooking oil. So, he wanted a cheap way to get uh, grain. Okay. That works for us. You know, we already have one ladder. Don't need to go up for a second one yet. Let's 
and something happens to our first ladder. Okay, let's see. Been to the square, been to the alley. Let's check out the street, shall we? Haven't learned much about being a hero. Could have sworn he might help, but no. Oh well. Ah, prime knickknacks. Soft toy dinosaurs. Hey, this looks like Yoshi. Kind of. No, just a normal dinosaur. A green stuffed lizardy thing. Yeah, this camera even has a little veranda and an easel for the imp. Hmm. Well, empty. I guess we have to find the imp again, don't we? Hmm. Well, this egg's seen better days. Ah, the old magic markings on the snake trick. Hmm. Magic snake. Let's see if he says anything. Greeting, different. shopkeeper. Good day, sir. Can I interest you in our toys? There's today's special. Now that's and the same as before. So we don't need to hear that again. There's glue pot still. Yep, there's his glue pot. Ah, looks like a prime paste blanc extraordinaire to me. Good body, but a bit fruity for my taste. Yeah, let's continue down the street. And mostly the street is kind of useless for the rest of the game. We've kind of done everything the street had to offer. The monk's gone. Ignatius the Trolls All Night Pottery Shop. I wonder if he got a new robe. Let's see. Lamp's still here. A street lamp. A sure sign that civilization is ever creeping up on us. Probably against its will, though. Yeah. I agree there. Now the fishmonger's still here. Hey, you put an electric eel for a belt. I think that's an electric eel. I've absolutely no desire. I don't want to talk to him. Well... If times ever get hard, at least he can masquerade as one of the stock. Look at the size of it! Must be Clatchin' Sturgeon Road. That you doesn't work. No, we don't want any. Okay. The smell is terrible, but the fish don't seem to mind. Let's see. Pretty much everything looks the same here, though. Let's check the graffiti and see if it's changed again. Oh, the, look, the octopus is still in there. What's this thing? For a nice time, eat well, drink happily, and find an amusing and rewarding occupation on a sunny day. No, I'm not going to look into there. There are some things best left unknown. I would agree. Especially now that the guy's not collecting those dunny cans anymore. Hmm, a door? Hmm, the barber's still gone. Extractors, drills, needles. Hmm, look, let's not go into this too deeply, okay? And in the spirit of taking everything that's not bolted down. He has an appointment book. And scissors. Eh, you never know. Scissors are useful in general. Hmm, not much else here. Since he's not here to talk to. Hey, look, it's a beggar. Hope I have time for this. Arms for the poor, sir. Oh, no. for the... This time you've gone He cut off far. his arms. I do have status now, How sir. How the hell does he do that? Seriously, his arms are gone. Both of them. Is it helping business? Oh, yes, sir. The money's just rolling in. Oh. Aren't you afraid someone will take it? No, sir. No one would attack an unarmed man. Oof. Bad puns. Well, we will continue this assault on, you know, all senses of comedy in the English language next time. For now, I'm out of time, so I'm going to cut the video here. Hopefully see everyone back next time for more Let's Play Discworld. Till then, take care, everybody. See you later.